Hey, it's Mike and I'm here on The Sims 4 with a brand new Sims 4 restaurant building video. Today I'm building a classic diner from the 60s and I think you guys are really going to like it. Someone on my channel actually recommended that I do a 15 by 15 challenge and this is actually my 15 by 15 challenge. But um, I found that 15 by 15 is actually quite a big space so I thought I would try and go smaller. So I actually did a 14 by 8 rectangle and then I added just a little bit like 10 more squares onto it. Um, you see right there there's four squares in the front that are coming out and there's also six squares in the back that are coming out. Just kind of little little areas of, of a, you know, a section coming out of the build just to add a little bit of dimension to the rectangle so it's not just a, a rectangle but it's still under 15 by 15 uh, the square footage of a 15 by 15 build is actually 225 square feet and in this build you actually only have 122 square feet so we're still 100 square feet under the the limit of 15 by 15 so this is quite a small build it's my smallest restaurant ever and i think it's one of my smallest builds ever in the sims 4 i tend to build very large buildings so this one is going to be quite uh, manageable for a lot of you guys who are just starting out with the sims 4 and want to maybe play a restaurant that's not going to be as hard to manage because you have less seating in the build you have less um less space to really move around in so you don't have as much stuff going on in one time and it might help you play the game a little bit more a little bit more easy a little easier i should say but now i'm currently doing all of the roofing on top it's all of the traditional curved diner roofing that you would see in a lot of 60s diners back in the day um, i like how it turned out the roofing on the corners didn't turn out perfectly fine but it looks it looks pretty good it doesn't match up perfect but it, it's pretty close and i like how it turned out and overall this build i think looks really classic in the end it's it really comes off the vibe of it really comes off exactly how i hoped it would and i guess this is kind of based off of a lot of those old school train train car diners that you would see of course a train wouldn't be this wide it's a little bit too wide to be a train car but um, it still looks pretty good and i think it definitely has that retro feel of course you have that classic checkerboard black and white floor and you also have some some classic red booths going along the right and left side and here's actually where the kitchen's going to go. Now I tried doing my best at a classic diner kitchen area where I actually did do an open kitchen here with two of those chef's tables. I was going to do two of the L chef's tables, but then I realized that you can't really connect. Since the chef's table only has a right angle, you can't connect one to another one. So I wish they would have given us like a left angle and a right angle. That way you could put in like a nice double chef's area um, that can interconnect and make, you know, that would have been nice, but they didn't do that, unfortunately. Uh, putting in some tables here as well, just kind of getting the layout of the build a little bit more squared away here. I didn't get a lot of um, tables in. I only had like like four full-size booths, and then you have the, the two L booths, and then you have a few um, standalone tables. But then you also have this really nice long bar that I'm putting in right now. The classic diner bar area that you would see in pretty much every diner that I've been to anyway, where you can order food, get some drinks or whatever. Uh, really just hang out there and talk to the waitress usually is what you would see in a lot of movies where they have diners. Um, a lot of times a lot of flirting goes on at the bar area, as you might know from a lot of a lot of movies. Now we're putting in some more lighting, of course, just getting everything looking nice. And at this point, I do change it to a restaurant because it wasn't up until this point, it wasn't actually considered a restaurant. It was still on a shopping lot since we are in Magnolia Promenade. Um, but now I am putting in all of the required objects like the waitress booth or the what is it, the waiter, the waiter station, the hostess station, and of course these chef's tables as well, which we already put in. Uh, here I'm actually extending the bar a little bit so we have a little more seating, and I'm just trying to squeeze as much seating as possible in here just so that it, it the, the lot still functions, but you also get a lot of seating to work with as well. Putting in the door for the bathroom, and I found this really awesome classic diner looking wallpaper that I loved so much. It just looks so perfect for this build, so I put it all around, and I put some white there in the entrance area. Placing a few more tables, of course, and also finding the right chairs to go with. And overall, it looks really good. I like how it turned out. Now, since this is such a small lot, I had no room for for any decorations at all, really. Only wall hangings, and that's about it. And, and since this is on a, a lot with only small walls, I really didn't have much room to work with on the walls either, so I just found some some paintings and by debug and I put those in later on, but you'll see that when it when it happens later on in the video. Going in the kitchen here, I didn't have much room for the kitchen. Um, this is basically just kind of like a back room of the kitchen where I just put in the shelving with the food on it and I also put in 
a fridge, and that's basically it. That area is mainly just for access for the waitress or the waiter to collect the food on that side. Because like I said, I would have done two of the um, the chef's tables, two of the angled chef's tables, but since they don't have a, a left angle, I couldn't really do that. Going into the bathroom here, just kind of putting in some basic tiling here, blue tiling, just to uh, switch things up a little bit and not go with all red and, blue and white. But basic bathroom, I didn't do multiple stalls or anything because I didn't have enough room for that. I literally just did one toilet, one sink, and a plant. That's literally all that's in here. I didn't want to overfill this room just because I know there's going to be lots of sims, you know, coming in and out of this place, and I just didn't want to make it unusable. And even in my playtesting of this build, I, I noticed that there was a lot of sims gathering around and kind of loitering, and um, it really left for, for not a lot of room for the waitresses and waiters to walk around and, and deliver the food. So I wanted to make sure that everything worked perfectly and also looked really good at the same time. Adding some of these really nice round metal uh, uh, columns, which kind of look like, like chrome columns almost. They don't really, they don't, they're not really chrome in The Sims 4, but in, in a lot of, in a lot of um, diners that I've seen, they have all these, all these chrome accents around the build or around the restaurant and um, I wanted to do that here as well. So now we're going outside doing some landscaping. I will be going back in the build a little later on to do some final touches and also add some condiment bottles and also some menus and also other decoration objects around the build um, just to finish it off. But for now we are going outside and doing some of the landscaping. Just did some basic landscaping here. Didn't want to go too crazy with it, obviously. Uh, just kind of putting in some flowers and also some bushes and whatnot and also some benches as well for your sims to sit down and relax after they eat at the beautiful retro diner. I also stacked up the plants a little bit here as well, just using the move objects on cheat and also using uh, the scaling, or not the scaling, the, uh, the raising and lowering tool by using control plus nine key and the control plus zero key, which is very helpful, <laughs> very helpful, very useful. Placing a few rocks as well and also finishing off the, the landscaping with some flowers on the ground as well so really basic landscaping guys just wanted to keep it very simple and now we're going into the back here which i put in a dumpster and also just the standard gate uh and you know a little employee access gate where employees can go in and smoke i guess i don't know they can smoke they can loiter around and and maybe not do their job <laughs> i'm not sure but it's open to them to do whatever they want to in there Wink, wink. Adding a few of those little pea bushes from Get Together, which is kind of funny because I, whenever I put those in a lot, I always think, oh, those are the pea bushes. So you might see some Sims going back there just to take a piss, <laughs> which uh, it's kind of funny. I guess it's, I guess it makes sense though, considering we only have one bathroom in this build, a uh, one toilet, one stall bathroom. So I guess that's kind of useful if your Sims are, or if your restaurant's very overloaded one night and your Sims have to have to do the duty and go outside maybe and, and just kind of use the bushes instead. Why not, you know? Putting in a few more plants back here, also a tree as well. I'm uh, just finishing it off and I'm going to also put in some lighting. Now I wanted, I really wanted to put in some, some neon lighting outside and The Sims 4 doesn't really have any good neon lights, like standard bar lights. And I, I used these at first and I thought they would look good. Then I went into live mode and I tried to color them red and they didn't really look that realistic. Like it didn't look like actual neon. So what I did after that was I, I found these really good bar lights, these like, you know, horizontal bar lights in the game that I wasn't using and I scaled them up a little bit and it made a perfect neon light that looks so realistic and it's seamless. Because you can see right there that you can actually still see the, the gray accents on the lights that you know signify that it's not not one piece but you're gonna see very soon that I do change that and I, I add some really great looking lights and you'll see at nighttime this restaurant just looks so awesome the whole outside glows bright red um, like a typical diner would have all the all the bright neon strips so I think it looks really awesome and I'm sure you guys will enjoy it as well adding in some sidewalk pieces here as well and just kind of putting in some final plants also, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have actually been to a classic diner before, because I know that back in the 60s, they used to be all the rage and they were all over the place. And I know a lot of them have died out over the years, but there are some that still exist. They're kind of rare, but I've actually been to a couple in my lifetime that have actually stayed in their true form. Like they're literally the same as they were back in the 60s. And they're really awesome. It's like you're going back in time to the 60s and going back to the good old days. And it's really awesome to see. Um, I've even seen a lot of them with the old jukeboxes still in them. I think it's really cool to see and 
honestly, there's nothing better than going to an old classic diner and getting a classic breakfast. It's the best feeling ever. It's the coolest experience ever. And I'm, I'm, I wish that all of you had the chance to experience it as well. But let me know in the comments down below if you guys have actually done that yourself and if you enjoyed it and, and what your favorite thing to get at a diner is. Now we're inside adding in some menus, also putting in, uh, actually fixing the plants because a lot of them did uh, come into the build a little bit. Adding some condiment baskets. Those actually look really classic diner-like, so I put those in. Um, trying to find some paintings. Now, no paintings actually really work from the game, so I go into buy debug here and I find some, some cool looking um, paintings from the new dine out pack. A lot of these are actually the new experimental food options that are in the game. They're not really diner-esque looking, but they're they're good enough for what I'm going for. Uh, you know, obviously I didn't really have a lot of choices considering the fact that the size of the walls is so small and I only had one square spaces to work with. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. Adding in some neon signs as well, just because that looks so diner-like, um, very classic looking. So we're adding those in. I wish they had uh, more neon signs because they only had like one Mexican restaurant neon sign and they have like a uh, like a fa like a fire neon sign and they also have the cafe neon sign but you know it looks pretty good um, I put in the bakery one as well just kind of filling it up with some classic looking objects I also put in the shades which are kind of bland but I guess they're they're better than not having shades at all so I put those in anyway putting in a few pictures on the wall as well and also a few more um, salt shakers and other little objects to put around the diner and some final plants as well just to finish it off and we are just about done here guys thanks for watching and as always don't forget to download this build on the gallery for free those are actually the awesome neon lights that i put in they look so realistic and you'll see when i change them all to red the whole build just glows red at night and i think it looks so awesome and it honestly just draws you in it draws your sims towards it to come inside and have something to eat it's very awesome looking and I'm really glad I figured it out because honestly I didn't want to have a 60s diner on the gallery without having something that resembled neon lights around it. So I'm really glad it worked out and and that's a tip for you guys in case you want to do the same thing. Adding a few more lights and that's basically it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and please enjoy the rest of the video.